Hello everyone this is my next video today i'm going to explain the code question number 278 first bad version you are a product manager and currently leading a team to develop a new product unfortunately the latest version of your product fails the quality check since each version is developed based on the previous version all the versions after a bad versions are also bad suppose if suppose if i have n versions 1 2 so on n and you want to find out the first bad one which causes all the following ones to be bad you are given an api bool is bad version of version which returns whether the version is bad implement the function to find the first bad version you should minimize the number of calls to the api see basically the what they given question they given uh, like versions okay if the versions are all dependent upon the previous versions depending upon the previous versions we will be develop the product of other versions okay if the version is we find out that it is a bad means rest of coming all versions will be bad because it is dependent on previous version okay uh, in the example one what they given they given n equals to 5 means there will be 1 2 3 4 5 here the bad version is 4 so we are reading we are we need to return the first version which is the bad if out bad is 4 so output will be start from 4 only so the output is 4 so In example two, they give an n equals to one. There is a one, and the bad version is also one. So we are returning output as one. So we can understand proper in the whiteboard. See in the input what they given. They given n equals to five. Okay, five means there will be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, these are the versions. These are they given bad equals to four. This is the bad version. Rest of all are good ones. Okay, after the bad ones, rest of all will be the bad. So in the example two, they are given n equals to one, and the bad is one, and we are returning output as one because there is only one version. So and what I am using the logic means starting I will take left pointer, uh, last it is a right pointer. This is the range, okay? Left will start from first element and right will start from last. What I will do? I will calculate the left and right. I will do average. Here left is one and right is five. I will divide by two. I will be stored in mid. I will get three. Now my mid will be here. I'll check. This is the bad version or not? No. So then I will what I will do? I will do my left equals to mid plus one. My mid here is three. Three plus one four. My left pointing to here. Now I will do add them and I will be stored in mid. Now four plus five nine nine divided by two it will get four. Now mid is three. Now I'll check. It's the bad version. Yeah. Then I will return my mid. My mid is four. Okay. This logic I will be using. in the coding by using the recursive approach okay now i'll show the code we given version as function and passing the parameters of left and right of long type of long type because they given here 2 power 31 it is a, to match this constraint we are taking long otherwise if we take on only the integer means it will become overflow okay after that i take on mid i will be calculating the left and right i will be do average i will store the mid now i'll check if it is a is i will check in this condition is bad version mid if it is a bad version means now i'll check other condition the bad version of mid minus 1 should be not bad version it should be good one then directly i will be return mid okay or else i will be return version i will do left as it is but i will mid minus 1 means i will be right i will be recursively called If the if condition is false means if it is a not bad version mid then I will be return version recursively I will do left and I will take right as am uh, I will perform here in the first bad version means this is the given function we are passing the parameters of n we are returning the version of uh, left as one mm, uh, starting bond it is and it is a ending bond of n okay this is the logic let's we can dry run the code now. See here, n they given five. Okay, means one, two, three, four, five. Okay, here left and right. Here left is pointing to one and right is pointing to n. Here this is left and this is right. Okay, I will do left plus right. Here left is one and right is five divided by two. I will get three. My mid is three. Okay, now I'll check. It is not equals to bad version mid minus one. Here mid is three. Now I'll check the condition. It is bad version mid three. No, here three is good one. Okay. So now what I will do? I will now else will else block will be work. Now what I will do? Mid plus one. My left will be now mid plus one. Here mid is three. Three plus one. My left will be four now. Okay. My left will be four. Right will be same as five. Okay. Now mid value will be four plus five divided by two. It will be four. 
okay now i'll check is uh, is bad version mid is 4 yeah is 4 is here bad so now i'll check the condition mid minus 1 4 minus 1 3 3 should 3 it should be not equals to bad version yeah 3 is here good one so i will be written mid my mid is 4 i will be written 4 yeah so you can observe here output 4 okay this is the logic of this code in this logic we can understand the time complexity and space complexity the time complexity is taking big of log n where space complexity is taking big of log n the time complexity is taking big of log n because we are doing in each iteration of version we are calling the version functions of the size range being searched and it being offered okay so it is taking uh, time of big of log n and comes to the space complexity is taking big of log n because we are recursively calling the fun versions functions are all stored in the stack so it is taking space of big of log n now there is another approach by using a linear search and binary search i will implement this code okay first i will show linear search in this logic what i am doing i take i will be taking example once here example 1 n equals to 5 and bad argument 4 okay i will be taken 1 2 3 4 5 these elements okay this i will be when i value will be 1 then then i will check bad version of 1 uh, yeah this is good one it will be not written anything now I, my i value will be pointing to 2 yeah this is the bad version no and now my i value will be 3 now we will check bad version of 3 no now i value will be 4 we'll check is bad version of 4 yeah it is a bad one so directly we are returning 4 this is the logic after completion of entire elements if we not found any bad version if the given means what we'll do we will return n plus 1 how many elements are there five if the five means 5 plus 1 we are returning 6 this is the logic of this code in this logic what is happening the time complexity is taking big of n because we are uh, traversing entire elements all so it is taking time complexity of big of n when it comes to the space complexity it is taking big of 1 because we are not taking any extra space it takes only constant amount of space so this is the approach of by using the linear implementation now i will show by binary implementation binary search implementation yeah in this logic what i done i taken three variables on is start end another one is mid start will be pointing to the initial element and end will be pointing to the last element if i taken n equals to 5 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 this will be the starting point and this will be the ending point after calculating the start and end after doing average i will get mid okay so here 5 plus 1 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 my mid will be pointing to here okay now I'll check the condition while start is here 1 and the end is here 5 yeah this condition is true this condition is true means i will do i will do mid mid left plus right divided by 2 i will be getting 3 okay i will check now uh, is 3 is equals to equals to 2 means it is a bad version here 3 is not bad version so our else will be work now what i will do i will do my start equals to mid plus 1 here my mid is 3 3 plus 1 my start will be 4 now okay 1 2 3 4 5 my start will be here now my end value will be this okay now i will what i will do i will add and i will divide by 2 4 plus 5 9 9 9 by 2 i will get 4 okay now my mid is 4 now i'll check the condition uh, is bad version mid here mid is 4 is equals to equals to true yeah it is a bad version next we should it should satisfy this condition also mid minus 1 means 4 minus 1 is 3 yeah here 3 is good one means it is a not bad version is false so finally we are returning mid my mid is here 4 so we are returning 4 okay this is by using binary implement binary search implementation now we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic the time complexity is taking big of log n and space complexity is taking big of 1 we are using binary implementation so it is taking time of big of log n because we are reducing the size into of so it is taking big of log n and space complexity is big of n because we are not taking any extra space we are storing the values so it takes only constant amount of space uh, thank you guys for watching the video